This 11 year old Japanese girl can twist and bend paper into beautiful animals and shapes. But just weeks ago, this playful little girl suffered brutal beatings daily by her own parents. She now lives in this protective orphanage. Revealing her identity threatens her safety. She is part of an exploding population in Japan, victims of child abuse. Government numbers show in the last decade, cases of reported child abuse in Japan have quadrupled. The lucky children are found and end up in orphanages. Like the one run by Misao Hanazaki. At this orphanage, 70 percent of the children are victims of child abuse and neglect. 52 children live here between the ages of 2 and 18. There are no vacancies. When one child leaves, another immediately follows. We're in trouble, says Hanazaki. Orphanages all across the country are full. There aren't enough foster parents in Japan. We are truly in trouble. Japan's culture is deeply rooted in the family and has historically not embraced adoption or foster care. The result? Japan's government says in cities like Tokyo, orphanages are at 100 percent capacity a system that can't keep up with the need. The world's image is that Japan is kind to its children, says Hanazaki, but the image does not match reality, she says, leaving caretakers like her to try where parents have failed. Child welfare experts say a couple of factors have led to the increase in the numbers of abuse. One, a change in the law now requires child abuse cases be reported. But there's another reason. Japan's economy has been stagnant for more than two decades. Child advocates say this is just one of the ugly social impacts of a struggling economy. Yuki Okada is a child advocate. She says couple the economy with a society where it's shameful to ask for help and it's a pressure cooker for families. Okada knows. She says she was abused by her mother, then she abused her own son. She is one of the few in Japan who openly talks about child abuse. It's going to get worse unless the public understands the pattern of child abuse, says Okada, and deals with abuse openly. Back at the origami table, this 11-year-old abuse victim is finishing up her final project, reminding us how easily children give their love and how the fragile nature of it is too often forgotten. Kyung-la, CNN, Chiba, Japan. It's a variation of a heart with wings.